Yeah, Jeff, uh, Ward, after this uh, 60 minute, it is the season end. Uh, what are your first feelings after this game? Well, it's disappointing. You know, we didn't, uh, we didn't get the start that we needed. Um, and we could never, you know, we we're chasing the hockey game right from the beginning. So right now the feeling is just disappointment. I mean, uh, we had to fight an awful long way to give ourselves a chance to get to this game for, for what it represented. And I think we can take some pride in that. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, we've got to we've got to be better in these games. We had to have a better start and we didn't get it against a good team. And as a result, we chased the game all night. It was a very important uh, game. It was the most important game of the season. How can you imagine this harmless performance? Well, we're going to have to sit down and take a look at it. You know, we've talked about, uh, you know, you can see how they were tonight. You know, two-time defending champions. They know exactly what it takes to win in this situation. Um, you know, I'm not sure we're there with everybody yet with our team, you know. So teams have to learn how to win together. We've been sort of going through that our whole season. Um, and tonight we just didn't get it done, but uh, we'll, you know, we'll continue to learn from it and continue to battle and we'll be back. It was a game in front of your home fans and I've missed the emotion in front of your fans. It is most important game of the season. Uh, what are your words about the emotions and the fire of the team? Yeah, we just didn't, you know, we just didn't have a good start. So, you know, whether it was nerves or whether it was fatigue, I don't think it was fatigue. You know, we'd given the guys lots of rest. I think, I think more so it was maybe a little bit of nerves and understanding the, the magnitude of the game, maybe being a little intimidated by it. But, you know, we'll sit down, we'll take a look at it, and we'll get the answers. Uh, it's a little tough to know all of them right now, but, you know, we'll, we'll certainly uh, delve into it over the next couple of days and figure it all out, and we'll be better for it. Uh, yes, you have to be better in the future, and let's talk about the future. Your contract is valid until uh, 2025. Uh, what are the first changes you want to, to do for, for the next season? Well, it's tough. You know, it's tough right now. I think, uh, you know, we're going to sit down and take a couple of days and, you know, digest this and then sort of take a look at the season as a whole and um, start making some plans. But, you know, um, we're excited about we're excited about what's here. We're excited about the potential um, and we've just got to grow it together. So, you know, that's where we'll start going with this. Um, you know, it's disappointing, but, other, you know, sometimes you need these disappointments in order to grow as a team, and that's the way we'll take it. Um, and like I said, it'll make us a better team in the future, and we'll be back. But uh, for now, you know, we have to go back to work. We have to plan. We have to, you know, really evaluate the year and, and what things went well, what things didn't go well, and then we'll move forward. Thank you, and all the best for the future. Okay, thank, you. thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.